father's favorite song to play on the five-string banjo. Her father was a little Choctaw Indian man who loved black people so much that he decided to marry into her, which was a, a, a hell of a decision to have to make when he was born. But he was in a hell of a fix anyhow. My great grandfather is a living example of the blues. I won't go into great detail. But my great grandfather traveled from Melville, Louisiana, to where his family was from, to get to Oklahoma. Got a bunch of nice Oklahoma land. The United States came by and said Indians can't own land in the state of Oklahoma. Grandpa's father said those two fabulous words that let you know his sense of right and wrong is in perfect order, as is the function of his nose. He said, bullshit. <laughs> grandfather was one of the best shots to ever walk into <laughs> and after this brief victory very brief because Uncle Sam is a vengeful man he got run back to Louisiana they was waiting for him on his daddy's place with dogs and ropes which ain't never a good sign so he made his way to Northwest Louisiana, found himself on a cotton plantation. Pretending to be a black man, so the government wouldn't execute him on sight. Most people from other cultures don't know about the blues. But if your best opportunity to get to the head in life is to pretend to be a black man on a cotton plantation in 1907, you have the blues. <laughs> this is a song called What's Gonna Become of Me? A question no doubt my great grandfather asked himself while going through these trials and tribulations. The sentiment of this song comes from Africa. The melody of it comes from Africa. The melody is played on an African-American instrument, this here five-string banjo, which existed in its four-string and sometimes five-string forms in Senegal and Gambia, but went on to shape American music for the better part of 150 years. This has all the cliches of the blues, has my baby, which for those of you outside of the culture does not refer to a domestic partner, but refer to your boss man, a person you have to mention undercover. You have to be incognito when you mention that your, <laughs> that your boss man is somebody that you can't stand, or else he'll throw you one of them neckties party in the morning, you understand? The words they use in this song is sometimes I wish I'd never been born or died when I was young. I'd have never seen your red rosy cheeks or heard your lying tongue, baby. You will notice that the people of Senegambia do not have red rosy cheeks. <laughs> Oh.
Oh!